In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Entrenacci's online agreement system. The first thing you want to do is log into your members only dashboard at nachi.org and then scroll down to online agreements. Click the green manage button. You are now on the my agreements page. There are multiple features on this page. Let's focus on the major features such as the new agreement and agreement templates. Let's head over and click on the agreement templates. Here you will see a list of templates Internachi has created for its members to use. For this example, let's click on the Internachi residential agreement. We can now see the residential agreement template. What you will need to do to start the customization of this template is to copy it into a new agreement template. To do this, take your mouse cursor and left click, scroll down the entire template, highlighting every word, and then right click to copy the now highlighted template. Now I want to go back to the templates. One way to do this is to scroll back up and click on the templates button under my agreements. Click on the blue create new template button and in the content field right click and paste in the residential agreement. Now you can add the specific property address, inspection fee, date, and any custom language you or your business attorney suggests. You can also take out any clauses in the agreement as well. Afterwards, be sure to title your agreement template, and once everything is added, head down and save your template. Now you have saved your custom template. If you want this to be your default agreement, click on the Save Default button. Now I see in green that my default template has been saved. If you need to go in and edit or delete your template, head over to the right side and click on the blue gear button. You will see two options here. Now let's head back to agreement overview. From here, let's click on the new agreement button at the top left. And now you can see your custom agreement is ready for use. Do you want to add a clause or an additional agreement? Simply drag one from the template list over to the use for this agreement column. Let's add a general release and a residential agreement. Change the order of the agreement by dragging one of the topics. When you are ready to move on, click the blue continue button. Now you can see our agreement is set up with the clauses we have added. The agreement is ready to be sent out. At the top of the page, add the client's name and email. Make sure you fill out all of the yellow highlighted areas of the agreement before sending it out to your client. At the bottom of the page, add your name and initials. If there is more than one person working on the agreement, check the allow an agent of the client to sign the agreement button. For our example, we'll leave it blank. Click on the blue save agreement button. And after saving our agreement, the custom URL of the agreement will be created that you can send to your client. You will also have a generated message that you can customize that will be sent via email. CC anyone right here. To make sure that your emailed agreement doesn't go to your client's spam or junk folder, we suggest that you send the agreement URL with your business email address. Okay, so now let's send this agreement out. After sending out the agreement, you will be directed back to the agreement overview page. Below our how-to video, you will now see the agreement appear under recent agreements. You can see the name of the client and whether or not the client has signed the agreement. If the client wants some of the language changed or didn't receive the agreement, you can either edit or resend your agreement by clicking on the blue gear icon and then clicking edit or resend. If you click edit, this will bring you back into the agreement. Once you save changes, you'll see a, a green banner confirming that your changes were saved. So now let's take a look at the agreement that we are sending out to our client. Our client is going to visit the URL nachi.org slash view agreement and then type in his or her email in order to view the agreement. Again, they will see this URL and the email that you will be sending out. They will then click on the green get your inspection agreement button this will let the client be able to see the agreement and if everything looks good on their end, they will sign it at the bottom of the page. The client will check respective boxes, type their name, initial it, and then sign it. Once that's done, they will click on the green securely sign button. This will create a PDF that they can download and you will receive an email confirming that your client has signed your agreement. When you go back to the agreement overview page, you will now see that your client has signed at said date and time. The blue gear button will let you view and download it as a PDF. 
Now, if we don't have to make a custom agreement for a client and can use an InterNACHA template, simply go into the new agreements page. And for this example, we will drag the InterNACHA residential agreement and hit continue. And we would do the same thing, filling out the client's name, yellow fields, initial, and saving the agreement. Thanks for watching this how-to video. Have a great rest of your day.